I don't make a sound when I stray. You better just run for your life. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Haseo back here again with another video for you guys. And today is gonna be my very first Arknights video. And I didn't really feel like making videos on this game, mainly because I didn't really know how I was going to feel about it. But as soon as I started playing and got my hands on the characters and kind of got familiar with the user interface and the, the inner workings of the game and kind of what you need to do to progress, I don't know, I just, I really fell in love with this game. Um, I can give my first impressions on the game in a later video or if you guys want to hear that or if you have any other videos you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, today's video, however, is just going to be me showing you guys what I use to run on my LS5. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's the tactical drill, which gives you EXP tickets, which is important because this is what you use to progress your characters to higher levels. And this is my roster that I use in the in this run. Uh, there's a lot of things that could be better here. Uh, I'm not using any six star. Predominantly, predominantly, my units are all made up of four stars and three stars, with the exception of a free five star for everybody, and then a couple that. Which I mean, honestly, all of the five stars I'm using are free except for Zima, because Silence is in the free ticket, which is what I use to get. Croissant is in the uh, coupon exchange currently which is pretty easy to get from once you summon dupes. And then Zima, which is one of the only units that I got that I kind of did luck out on. I really like her. Her and Vigna go really well together. Um, but yeah, and then we're just gonna kind of go over the team composition here before we start the run. It is gonna be on auto. I'll kind of pause it here and there just to kind of show you guys what's going on and why it's happening. Uh, aside from that, you're gonna want two tanks Ideally, you want them as close to level 40 Elite 1 as possible. Otherwise, the damage output that the last few mobs do is just going to be too much and overwhelming for you. Uh, Korra, who is free from the coupon shop as well, you're going to pretty much need her on this run. Predominantly because her, her Elite 1 ability is that she ends up not being able to attack, but she gains an extra block, which means she can block 4 units instead of 3. And that ability by itself is what makes this run work. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to do it this early on. And I have Gravel there. You probably don't need her, but I use her sparingly, but just to kind of give me a little bit more of a cushion that um, for my tanks. So yeah, Meteor is going to be one of the archers you need. You're going to need two tanks, one AoE mage, one single target mage. You're going to need two healers. If you don't have any good healers and you're just running three star healers, you're gonna want three healers. Like Hibiscus, um, Gaviel, who is a free coupon four star, but her heals are a little bit underwhelming compared to others. Uh, and then whoever else you have, it, it doesn't really matter. You can use Anzel, I think is his name. Uh, he's a healer who also gets increased range, so that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of other units that you can use. If you have any questions on uh, units that you would want me to suggest as a replacement, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. But predominantly, you're going to want three vanguards, two archers for anti-air, two mages, one single target, one AoE, two tanks. Uh, one of them has to be Korra, unless you have overwhelmingly strong units. And then two medics. And the third one down there, which is a specialist, Gravel, you can honestly replace that with another healer or another tank or whatever else you feel is necessary for you. Uh, I only use Gravel because that's what I like. So we'll go ahead and get started with the run here, guys. At the initial beginning placement, you're gonna wanna play Fang and Vigna or two, whoever you have. You can use Courier and Vigna or Fang and Courier. Doesn't really matter, you just need somebody that's uh, a DP recovery and then a sustainable DP, like Fang is a sustainable DP recovery, and then DP recovery on kill is gonna be Vigna. If you don't have Vigna, you can replace her with Vanilla or Plume, I believe. I think it's just Plume, actually. Vanilla is a sustain. Uh, after that, we're gonna wanna play Zima on top, or if you don't have Zima, you can play a Courier there, because he is also quite tanky. And then as soon as you start seeing that second row or the top row on the left side move, 
those barbarians with the pickaxes, as soon as you see them move, you need to play your Quora on the left side because that's where the four units that you're going to need to eventually guard against is going to come from. And we'll show you that here. A little bit slowed down now. And to go over the, the placement process, you're going to want to play your two vanguards. Then you place uh, Kros or Kurosu. I don't know, however you pronounce that name. Mine is Kuros because she's a three-star archer who is anti-air and single target and hot, decent DPS. If you have the six-star counterpart to her, which is Exusai, or I don't know how the fuck you guys pronounce these names, but Exusai is how I'm going to say it. The six-star archer. If you have her, you can use her. She's amazing for this map and will shred the units. Um, otherwise, you can use whoever else you have. And like I said, you can leave a comment down below if you have any questions on replaceable units here. But this is just what I run, this is what works. I think the only unit that I think is a, a must-have is probably Quora, and she's free from the cert uh, certificate shop. So, yeah, it shouldn't be that difficult for everybody to get her ha their hands on her. Now, as soon as you're ready, you need to place the secondary medic, which I put as silence on the top side, and then you need to place your archer, who is your secondary anti-air, and you want them facing to the right. That's important because they're going to start focusing the drones that come out from the right side. If you don't kill two out of three of them, your, your, your DPS, which is going to be Gitano or whoever else you use, like Skyfire or Lava for a three star, they're not going to survive because three drones is going to kill them. So you want uh, Jessica as a three star or Meteor, who is my four star that I'm using, or whoever else you want to use like blue poison possibly could also do the job there um you want them on top side facing the right and if you don't get rid of two out of three of them if you can get rid of all three great but if you can't get rid of two out of three you're probably gonna lose and you'll see here that she kills one right here okay then we have an extra wave and then she starts immediately count or hitting that top one right there. That's the second drone. There's going to be a third one that comes out, but we don't need to worry about that. So I place her, get rid of her, activate Korra skill because there's going to be four units hitting her now. And then you play your AoE mage, which is going to be Lava, Gitano, or Skyfire. Or if you have the, the chick that uses sheep as her spirit animal, the alphabet girl. I don't know what the fuck her name pronunciation is, guys. Aya Faya Ya 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 Ya. Yeah. We'll go with that. So if you have Alphabet Girl, you play her instead. And she's god tier, apparently. I don't have her, so I wouldn't know. This team that I'm using right now is a very free to play friendly team though. All of my units are essentially free, except for Zima, who you replace with Croissant, which is a free unit in the in the certificate shop. So now, what you're going to want to do is, if you have Elite 1 on Gitano, her skill is not as good as Skyfire's, but it's still okay. Uh, on Elite 1, she basically hits her entire radius for approximately 10 seconds or 12 seconds, I think. And then she's stunned for 10 or 12 seconds or some somewhere along those lines. Essentially, you want to wait until those last units right there on the left side, those three units coming in now, once they're in the tar the radius of Gitano, you pop her skill, because by the time she's done with it, all of the left side is going to be dead. As soon as everything on the left side here is dead, we get rid of every single unit and place the rest of our units on the right side to help uh, Croissant, because those two Axemen on the right are extremely strong. So we'll speed this up a little bit. As you can see, Gitano is using her skill here. Okay, she's dead. Now you're going to see me get rid of all three of these left side units and then play everything on the right side instead. I don't know why I didn't take Gitano out sooner, but yeah. So, right there, if you have Croissant and you have her Elite 1, her secondary skill is a manual activated stun for approximately 1 or 2 seconds, but that 1 or 2 seconds gives you the leeway to place Gravel or whoever else. If you have another tank, you can play that. And one, if not both of those units, the Axemen, are going to give your Croissant time to heal because they're going to start aggroing after they're stunned onto their closest target, which is going to be the secondary unit you play on top of them. Mine is Gravel. 
So I tank one shot and then I get rid of her for the CP again or deployment points. I place another heal. I wait for this silence um, drone bot healer to go off. Once it's done, then I play my uh, perfumer's heal boost. And if you are running perfume, I would suggest not using her skill uh, that decreases her defense but raises her attack unless you know you're not going to die. Like if there aren't drones around basically. After this, this is pretty straightforward now. It's just keeping Croissant alive while you play other units to just help take down these last two targets. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, they're going to start targeting Zima for a little while. I'm going to get rid of Zima here in a second. Okay, there you go. And that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. This is the entire run now. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these Arknight videos, if I should keep doing them or not. I personally love this game, so even if I don't do videos on this, I'm still probably going to keep playing it. It's really enjoyable. Um, yeah, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And until next time, guys. Peace.